Amidst the unsettled undercurrents in the Chinese Communist Party's political bureau, high-ranking officials have been vanishing successively, an unfolding scenario that some liken to a thriller novel. While the mystery surrounding the disappearance of former Minister of Foreign Affairs Qing Gang remains unsolved, China's Minister of National Defense has also vanished from the public eye since his last appearance on August 29th, fueling a frenzy of speculation from the public. On September 15th, during the regular press conference held by the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs, a journalist from Agence France Press inquired about the situation concerning Li Shengfu. The spokesperson, Mao Ning, responded with, I am not aware to the questions raised. I, a question from Reuters. Why was Qin Gang removed from his post uh, of foreign minister? The Xinhua News Agency issued relevant information. You may refer to the report. This response mirrors the previous official commentary regarding the former Minister of Foreign Affairs, Qin Gang, exhibiting a pattern in the narrative. But the enigma extends beyond these two ministers who disappeared during their tenure. China's former Minister of National Defense, Wei Fenghe, is also believed to be missing, having not been seen since stepping down from his post at the National People's Congress in March this year. Previously, rumors also circulated regarding the whereabouts of Li Yuchao, the former commander of the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force. An ex-officer from the People's Liberation Army, PLA, stated that the most substantial problem within the PLA is the corruption led by the princelings, offspring of the Communist Party's founding members, with the rocket force being a significant hotbed. President Xi Jinping views the military personnel as fearful of war and disloyal to him, seeking to enhance combat readiness and modernize the military through an anti-corruption campaign targeting high-ranking officers. According to Reuters, on September 15th, 10 insiders revealed that Minister of National Defense Li Shangfu is currently under investigation by the PLA's Discipline Inspection Commission. Quoting three Vietnamese officials with direct knowledge of the matter, Reuters reported that Li Shengfu was scheduled to attend the annual defense cooperation meeting hosted by Vietnam at the China-Vietnam border from September 7th to 8th. However, a few days before the conference, Beijing informed Hanoi to cancel the meeting, citing Li Shengfu's poor health condition as the reason for his inability to participate. Furthermore, Reuters stated that Li Shengfu was taken away for questioning earlier this month, with the investigation focusing on military procurement. Concurrently, eight senior officials from the military procurement department, led by Li Shengfu between 2017 to 2022, are also under investigation. The Financial Times reported on September 15th that the U.S. government believes that Li Shengfu has been investigated by Beijing authorities. At the same time, he has also been removed from his position as Minister of National Defense. Zhao Lanjian, a former mainland media person, disclosed on social media on September 15th. Currently, a total of eight people from the Equipment Development Department of the Central Military Commission have been arrested, including six deputy department-level military officers and two bureau-level officials, all identified by Li Shengfu himself. Former Lieutenant Colonel of the Naval Staff Department, Yao Cheng, stated in the show Pinnacle View on September 16th that Li Shengfu is indeed under investigation, a topic already being discussed within the military circles, and a majority of the forces are aware of the situation. Yao Cheng noted that there are primarily two reasons behind Li Shengfu's arrest. Firstly, Xi Jinping's relentless drive against corruption within the military has hit a snag with root issues emerging at the Equipment Development Department, prompting Xi to initiate a comprehensive investigation of the department. Secondly, Xi is cracking down on the princelings, with Li Shangfu being one of them, alongside Zhang Yuxia. Xi has substantially brought most of the military's princelings under control. Yao emphasized that currently a considerable faction within the Chinese Communist Central Committee opposes Xi Jinping causing him embarrassment and urging his step down. The origin of this opposition lies with the princelings.
Initially displeased with the princelings, Xi Jinping now sees them as a threat to his regime's stability, instigating a comprehensive investigation. At the age of 65, Li Shengfu, who just assumed the role of Minister of National Defense in March this year and was appointed as a member of the Central Military Commission in October last year, is now under scrutiny. Responsible for orchestrating China's acquisition of fighter jets and missile equipment from Russia, Li has been under U.S. sanctions since 2018. Li was last seen in public on August 29th, delivering a speech at the China-Africa Peace and Security Forum held in Beijing. Earlier in August, he visited Belarus and Russia, emphasizing that China and Belarus are true brothers. It's worth noting that in China, the defense minister does not hold absolute decision-making power, but is primarily responsible for defense diplomacy. In the hierarchy of the Central Military Commission, the highest national defense organization, Two vice chairmen, Zhang Youxia and He Weidong, rank above him, with the chairmanship held by Xi Jinping himself. There, there were indicators that troubles were brewing for Li Shangfu. On July 26, the Equipment Development Department of the Central Military Commission issued an announcement seeking tips from the public on corruption cases in military equipment procurement tenders since October 2017. This period aligns with Li's tenure as the head of the Equipment Development Department, spotlighting potential issues such as misconduct, factionalism, personal gains at the expense of official duties, leaks, and regulatory failures. Originally established as the General Armaments Department of the Chinese Communist Army in January 2016, this unit, one of the 15 functional departments under the Central Military Commission, mainly oversees the development planning, R&D testing, procurement management and information system construction of military equipment. Why has there been a sudden probe into procurement corruption? Analysts suggest that the 19-month-long Russo-Ukrainian war might have inflicted significant setbacks on the Chinese civilian military integrated products in Russia. As these were supplied by China, it has prompted China to investigate its defense industry and system more closely. It seems that digging deeper into the matter has uncovered a plethora of issues. Li is unmistakably a member of the princeling faction, born to veteran Red Army member Li Xiaozhu. With a background in the military aerospace system, he has held significant positions including the director of the Xichang Satellite Launch Center and the commander of China's manned space engineering project. In 2016, Li was appointed deputy commander of the newly established PLA Strategic Support Force, an elite unit focusing on the rapid development of space and cyber warfare capabilities. He served as the Minister of the Equipment Development Department of the Central Military Commission from 2017 to 2022. Increasing speculation hints at Li potentially following in the footsteps of Qing Gang. During the Chinese Foreign Ministry's regular press conference on September 15th, when spokesperson Mao Ning was asked about Li's absence from the Vietnam conference and whether he was being investigated, she responded with, I am not aware of the situation you mentioned. This echoed her earlier response to a previous statement on Qing Gang, the former Minister of Foreign Affairs who also disappeared for several days. Li's disappearance follows Qing Gang's with the official statement citing health reasons for the abrupt removal from his post in July. Qin still retains his state councillor position, a vice-national-level position. Both Li and Qin are among the five state councillors in China. Western commentators perceive the incidents involving Qing Gang and Li Shangfu as signs of significant domestic and international challenges facing Xi Jinping's regime, pointing to an underlying instability. Li Shangfu's disappearance has spurred media speculation that he might be linked to a collective corruption case within the rocket force. Political commentator Deng Yuyi stated on social media platform X, After confirming with well-informed sources in Beijing, it appears that the military is undergoing a major overhaul and Li Shengfu seems to be facing significant issues. Primarily entangled with the ramifications from the rocket force and connections to the so-called remnants associated with Xu Zaihou, former vice chairman of the military commission. Retired Minister for National Defense Wei Fenghe is currently undergoing isolated scrutiny. 
the uncertainty now lies in whether both Li Sheng Fu and Wei Fenghe can safely pass this ordeal or end up in jail. On July 31st of this year, Xi Jinping promoted former deputy commander of the People's Liberation Army Navy, Wang Houbin, and former deputy political commissar of the Southern Theater Command, Shu Shisheng, appointing them as the commander and political commissar of the rocket force respectively. As some military experts point out, this cross-service chief appointment indirectly verifies the rumors that the previously missing original rocket force commander Li Yuchao and political commissar Shu Zhongbo are under investigation. Li Yuchao, who took the position of rocket force commander in January 2022, served just a year and a half. Hong Kong-based South China Morning Post disclosed in July this year that Li Yu Chao was taken away by the military's anti-corruption agency for investigation, along with other current and former senior officers of the rocket force, including Liu Guangbin and Zhang Zhenzhong. News of the death of former rocket force deputy commander Wu Guohua circulated on Chinese social media platforms in July this year. An obituary issued on July 25th, signed by the morning office for comrade Wu Guohua, stated that Wu Guohua died in Beijing on July 4th at the age of 66. Additionally, the commander of the rocket force and former minister of national defense Wei Fenghe is also believed to be missing. Observers noted that Wei Fenghe has been absent since stepping down from the National People's Congress in March this year. On September 14th, Yuan Hongbing, a jurist residing in Australia stated that recent actions taken against the rocket force were attributed by some to leaks and others to corruption. According to information he acquired from conscientious insiders within the CCP, the root cause was Xi Jinping discovering that the entire leadership system of the rocket force harbored depletious individuals. Yuan Hongbing quoted sources saying that these senior officials of the rocket force essentially agree with Liu Yajou's viewpoint that if a war breaks out in the Taiwan Strait, the CCP facing defeat is a highly probable outcome. However, outwardly they demonstrate firm support for Xi Jinping's initiation of a Taiwan Strait conflict, while secretly disseminating negative remarks. These clandestine activities and comments were reported to Xi Jinping by Li Yu Chao's secretary. Yuan pointed out that currently the secretaries of senior officers at major military regions and above are all approved by the office of the chairman of the Central Military Commission, meaning these secretaries effectively serve as Xi Jinping's eyes and ears. Therefore, the recent rocket force incident accentuates the biggest dilemma faced by Xi Jinping. The presence of double dealers who do not truly pledge absolute loyalty to him. This represents the greatest predicament for Xi Jinping at the moment. The recent unusual disappearances of several high-ranking CCP officials have stirred a wave of confusion and skepticism. On August 31st, in response to inquiries from journalists about the issues surrounding the rocket force and the whereabouts of former Minister of National Defense Wei Fenghe, spokesman of the Information Bureau of the Ministry of National Defense Wu Qian responded publicly for the first time, stating, we will investigate every case and crack down on every corrupt official. Expressing, quote, zero tolerance for corruption, he affirmed that the military's anti-corruption fight is, quote, always ongoing. Japanese veteran media personality Akio Yaita voiced his opinion on social media, suggesting that the unfolding events might be a consequence of Xi Jinping questioning the loyalty of these officials, leading to their purge. He remarked that it is extremely rare to witness the successive removal of prominent figures such as the foreign minister and defense minister in such a short time. Moreover, he noted that the recently missing individuals, including Qing Gang, Wei Fenghe, and Li Sheng Fu, were all close confidants of Xi Jinping, most of whom were personally promoted by him. Akio Yaita further noted, looking back at human history, during the end phases of dictatorial regimes, rulers often exhibit a profound distrust towards their subordinates, purging them batch by batch. He highlighted that leaders from Emperor Yang of Sui and Emperor Chongchen to Hong Xiaochuan of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom have all behaved this way. He speculated that the unusual developments in Beijing might indicate intense, undisclosed power struggles within the Chinese Communist Party. He concluded by raising a critical question. Is the regime nearing its end? 
about the recent spate of high-ranking officials going missing, former Chinese senior media person Tsai Shenkun believes that ever since the attempted coup in Russia involving Prigogine, Xi Jinping has been on high alert regarding the military, especially towards these senior officers, adopting a stringent defense posture. He has offended the entire military and the political elites, including government officials, so he realizes that he is surrounded by enemies on all fronts. Under such circumstances, his suspicions and mistrust have intensified. The troubles may not only pertain to Li Shengfu. Since the 20th Party Congress last year, the entire Chinese political arena is still engulfed in a storm of swords and daggers, said Tsai. Tsai Shengkun stated, For Xi Jinping, there are hardly any trustworthy people around him, except for Tsai Chi. It is unlikely that he fully trusts even Li Chang including those he previously admired greatly, such as Wang Xiaohong. I feel he cannot fully trust them. Given this situation, the political scene is set to witness a series of incidents this year, and a major event will likely occur. So, let's see what will happen.